Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. Today we are in Winter Park, Florida. Uh, Monkey had to come and see her surgeon, talk to her surgeon, find out what's going on with her arm. They're not sure yet. Um, I think it could be caused from the accident. And the reason why her arm wasn't hurting before, it technically was, but her neck was hurting so bad, you know, she couldn't, you know what I mean? Uh, it kind of overwhelmed her, her shoulder. So, something wrong with the rotator cuff. So anyway, we're sitting here. She just went in. I got Bruno back there. I got him on his, well, he's got his cooling pad back there. And I got a, a uh, one of those freezable ice things on it to keep it cool for him. He won't stay on it. <laughs> he, he had his paws down and we got this little, like, cooler thing back there. He had his paws down in it. So I got him cooked up, cooked up, hooked up back there now. It's uh, uh, 99 degrees without the heat index, so we're out there. Yeah, that's, that's pretty hot. Breaking records all over the United States, man. I can only imagine what Arizona's feeling. Texas. And we have no air in this thing, so I gotta get that. I gotta get that fixed. I think the pressure switch may be going bad, but it's down underneath. Hang on a second, guys. Had something on my lens. A smear. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it from here. Um, but it's down underneath the firewall, so I gotta kind of like the same way to change the spark plugs in this thing. You have to. Uh, unbolt the engine and put a turnbuckle on and pull that engine forward tilt it forward uh, what I usually do is just jack it up so you can get back in there to it to the spark plugs well thing about that is that's where the pressure switch is for the air conditioner so that was bad so yeah that's it's gonna be a pain but I got I gotta fix this. It's this is just too crazy. I don't have all the air conditioner stuff I had before, but I'm gonna try to you know charge it and see what I can do just with the stuff you buy at the store. And uh, we got to get some air in this thing. It's like I said, it's it's reading 99 degrees, and uh, that's without the heat index. So and this thing's pretty on the money within a degree or two either way. So it could be a hundred. Um, or it could be 98 but this thing's pretty pretty accurate so anyway guys um, that's what we're doing I'll be back with you in a minute and we'll chit chat uh, I don't know I don't know if there's anything to see on the way back that we didn't see on the way down just that bridge I, sh I showed you that bridge over Lake Henderson uh, yeah that's pretty cool uh, it's a new bridge I don't remember the old one and I know I've never been on the new one, but I've been there before because as soon as you cross a bridge, there's like a housing development up in there that uh, it's got this really cool lighthouse. I filmed it before several years ago, so if I can find it, I'll put a clip in right now of that. So yeah, that's uh, Monkey Monkey filmed it once too. Uh, she had a patient back in there. She dropped me off. I went with her. wasn't supposed to ride with her, but I would go with her sometimes. And I went with her and uh, just to film that. She said you'll like it. So she dropped me off and I hung out there at that lighthouse and uh, it was it was pretty neat. It's like a community center, but uh, it's right there overlooking the lake. It's pretty neat. So I don't know. Uh, all right, I'll be back with you guys for in a minute try to cool down I brought my little fan with me I'm gonna put this on it helps it helps a lot so I'll be back okay guys so I wanted to talk to you guys about something um, 
here a while back I don't know what took so long but I just noticed it I didn't notice it before but I get I, I had a message on Facebook Messenger and uh, one of my viewers apparently must be friends on Facebook but um, wanted to make a few suggestions on my fishing videos a little constructive criticism now this guy was uh, very polite and respectful so you know thumbs up for that um, he suggested you know I move my camera back when I'm when I'm fishing so I don't get so much of a close up of me there's monkey <laughs> so anyway so uh, but I want to explain why I don't do that that's why I got the body camera I got the body cam for that because you know he said that way people want to see it actually hook the fish and all that totally understandable when I get it but the reason why I don't wear my body camera all the time is because it's so hot to put that chest mount on me and um, so and the reason why I don't back this up farther is because I would have to leave it on all the time and this heat kills kills camera batteries like crazy um, so I'd have to leave it on and a lot of times I got to cover you guys up because the camera just gets too hot and so like right now that last clip and the um, and that little bit of intro knocked me down one bar I've only got three out of four bars so I've only got an hour and 26 minutes of recording time on this battery uh, when I started out with two and a half hours so yeah, and then I shoot in 4K, so that, you know, that takes up a lot of, um, a lot of memory card, too. But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's why I don't do that, so, um, I'll try to get a hold of him later on and, uh, you know, explain to him about that, but, yeah, so that, that was cool, he was real respectful about it. Now, he didn't say, you should do this, he was pretty much, you know, well, maybe consider moving your camera back and i get it man i've thought about that but still when i hook a fish and then i gotta try to turn you on it's it's hard enough just to reach up you know what i mean when you got a big fish on or in my case usually a damn turtle huh yeah why do you whisper i don't know <laughs> so anyway i want to tell you that i don't know what we'll see on the way home hopefully we'll find something to film um i don't know i still got something on my lens here <laughs> oh, it's on the inside. That means I gotta take this glass cover off and, uh, yeah. I see it right there. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'll be back with you. Okay, so I had to share this with you. Went past a sign, a billboard sign there, back there, a little ways. Morgan and Morgan. That's a lawyer company for accidents and stuff. They got me 3.5 million. A guy in a black shirt with like gold stripes, ball headed, standing there holding his check. Within one mile, this is no kidding, the same exact picture of the same dude holding the same check, it said Dan Newland. Now, this is two different lawyers. Dan got me 3.5 million. Same dude, the same picture, the same pose, except the check. One said Morgan Morgan, one said Dan Newland on it or something like that. So, that just goes to show you guys, those big billboard companies, man. I mean, come on. You know, that it's the same guy <laughs> with the same exact amount of money, you know. Come on. There's, so, those pictures, those pictures you see, the guys in the cowboy hats and the women in the bikinis. I got this amount of money. Those, those people are just, they're just models, that's all. Anyway, I wanted to share it with you. If I had known that on the way down, I would have filmed that on the way back, because that's, that's crazy, man. And people buy into that, you know? Well, that guy got three, no, he didn't. He probably got $350 for posing for that picture. And then it's a stock photo, and then other, other companies, they can use it, you know? Whatever. <laughs> I had to share that with you. <laughs>
Ooh, it's still hot. What's the thing say? Can't say it. No. It's not bringing it up. You sent the radio button. Oh. 98. 98. Woohoo! Cool down. Hmm. Had to make a pit stop. Get some iced tea. <laughs> I got a couple cokes back there, but hell, they were warm before we got down there. Yeah. So I had her get it for me because the last time we, we stopped and got something, I got some lemonade. It was like 10.30 in the morning, man. My cheeks are feeling numb and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm like, yeah, I feel good, man. I feel great. And I'm drinking it. I'm like, man, this is two big ones, tall boys. And I got some kind of hard lemonade wouldn't it? yeah monkey says you should feel great she says you're drinking at 10 30 in the morning i'm like what i thought it was nasty but it wasn't and uh her, it was a lemonade i can't remember what it was but it was 10 30 in the morning man i was feeling good so i had her run in and grab me a tea He's got it. He got it backfiring a little bit, don't he? Yeah. That's why. Man, I I miss my old suburban, man. small block poured out to a 409 502 horse dual pipes that thing had the blackjack headers long tube headers with the uh, with the dual fresh tubes all the way out the back that thing was long so it had some pipe and that thing would cackle like crazy I'll turn you on. If not, we'll do an outro when we get to the house. Uh, yeah, so that that clip you saw, that was the abandoned park, RV park. Yeah. That showed you across the Dead River. Interesting fact, fun fact, the Dead River is called the Dead River because they say you can put a rowboat in the middle of that river 24 hours and it won't move five feet in the way. Dead current, no current in that, you know, unless a boat's going past. But if you, if you would sit there with no other boats going past, that, your boat will sit there and not move any more than five feet in any direction. That's why it's called the Dead River, fun fact. Anyway, guys, stick around.
then we went to that one up in Gainesville or up by Gainesville or remember it was right across the street from the hotel oh yeah that oh. woman was real friendly <laughs> to us wasn't she yeah. yeah she was uh very very friendly that woman but uh that was interesting too. <laughs> yeah that was interesting all right this is wildwood pretty much steep see we got we got a steak and shake in the pilot there and a couple hotels up here not much to see gator world another place that like you get back into it's not open anymore it wasn't open very long was it no not at all and then the uh the rona hit you to know the kind of man he is. My pop don't like to be talked about and I most generally try to do what he likes. And there's a place not real far from here where he supposedly ate at. It's called Coney Island. That's pretty neat. I'll forget the name of the movie. I'll put it on the screen here. But I guess like during their breaks and stuff, he would go outside in the side lawn and uh, toss a football around with the kids and stuff and play with the kids. So. story and that's that's a true story there so, yeah the, I guess there's like a museum in it and you can go when it's open we can't never get a place open but you can go in there and, and see where the courtroom scene was filmed it's pretty neat huh Mom? yeah that used to be a car wash right there car wash that used to be a place called Heidi's and this was a was a marathon yes. there's a gas station 
this was another gas station, right? Yeah. So that was another. No, this was a gas station. The other one right back there was um, KFC. That's right. That's and, what it was. And they took them all out because they're going to widen this road. Yeah. But if you notice, they got a lube a lube place where Heidi's used to be one of our favorite restaurants. They're a little further up the road now, but it's family owned. But they put a lube place in there, so I don't understand that. Heidi's is completely gone now. It's not. And Hernando anymore? Nope, they closed it. Oh. Yeah. But any out. but anyway, they they had to move out of there because of road widening, but yet right in the same exact spot is the lube depot place there. Yeah. It makes sense we've been back in there. Yeah. There's trails all back through there, walking trails. Roller barn. The roller skating place. That's a cool looking Corvette right there. Oh, you mean my Corvette? Yeah, my Corvette. <laughs> Bruno's Corvette. Yeah, that's my that's golf cart. It is. I got a golf cart, she's got a Corvette. Something don't seem right. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back. Just a little bit of vlogging for you, sharing the day with you. Um, she's gotta have surgery again next month. But They'll come and get her, huh? Yeah. So yeah. that's pretty cool. This saves us from having to get a hotel and staying down there. They'll come and pick us up. They'll pick me up too. I get to go with her. And uh, they'll pick me up, pick her up. She'll go have her surgery. And they'll also bring us back. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, guys. Cool. Thanks for watching. Shea Bird, Myth Man, a legend. Gone for now, Monk. Out, Say bye, Bruno. He's so hot. Yeah. Well, he, he's been pretty good, though, because yeah. I, I put that ice pack back there, and he's been laying on the ice pack on these cooling pads. So he's been good all the way home. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.